that was my q a and i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed it shout out to my fenty beauty products again not sponsored but i've just been really enjoying my new purchases and i hope you like what you saw together if you do want a more in-depth actual process like beginning to end of my makeup or like a get ready with me do let me know um and i'll be more than happy to do that because you know Again, kind of like the question before, whilst I'm not trying to change my content for new audiences, um, I'm definitely all for developing and just trying new things. I don't want to box myself in. As a creative, we don't do them things. <laughs> Guys, laugh with me, please. So, um, I'm at a studio apartment place again. And, oh, girl, not you walking away from the light. First of all, oh, too bright. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, if you're new here, welcome. I do weekly vlogs every Wednesday, 7 p.m. as well as my usual Sunday, 7 p.m. upload. Um, so, I'm here, um, cause I just wanted some space again, thought I might as well get some content, all of that stuff. Long story short, I got here, um, and I had a certain room, and it's like, I've been here a few times now. I had a certain room and I was a bit like, it's not giving. And I'm so happy because usually I'll be the sort of person where it's like, oh, it's okay, I'll take it. But this time, let's put the air conditioning on because it is warm. Um, but this time, I was like, nah, like I'm not feeling it. Ooh. Air conditioning, please. This room is 27 or take it down. Okay, 19 degrees. I want it all the way down. Anyway, yeah. Okay, lighting's okay here. So, um... I just wasn't happy with the room. I wasn't happy with the layout, especially if I'm going to be doing content. Like, it needs to make sense. So I went downstairs. Like, I was literally standing there like, should I do it? Should I do it? Then I went downstairs and I was just like, hi. Um, do you have any other rooms? And I've already checked the website and they do have rooms available. But obviously when you go down, it's always a case of, oh no, we're fully booked. Da -da -da -da. So cool. So, um... I'm a bit anxious now because, okay, long story short, I swapped rooms and I am happy with the room I've got. Like, it's definitely better for what I need to do content-wise, blah, blah, blah. But when I went down to reception, there was a lady there. Um, and she, I didn't know what she was there for because they were mid-conversation when I got downstairs. But then they mentioned my room number and I was like, oh, that's my room number. Usually I don't even give away details like that. But I was a bit like, why are you talking about my room? And then... Um, there were a few people at reception so then i went to the other guy like oh um do you have any other rooms with a different layout like i've been here before so i know you do have different layouts but like have you got anything available obviously he's like no we're fully booked da, 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 da. then the woman i come to find out wants another room herself because she was like there's um construction work going on now at first i was just like ah no biggie i'm not bothered construction work like, i don't give a heck like i'm just here for a night like we're good and then um the guys at the reception were like, well, if you two want to swap, that makes life easy for us. So I was just like, sure. But then she was like, yeah, because there was literally a guy at the window. I said, a guy at the window? And I was walking away, like I came to get my bags because I already dropped my bags. I wasn't like taking it up and down. So I came to get my bags. I was like, Father, Lord Jesus, please let me have done the right thing. Like I'm hoping this room swap makes sense. Like I looked at the room again. I was like, is it that bad? But now I'm in the room. I'm much, much happier. I will show you what it looks like. Um, space wise it's just it's gonna work for what I want to do I kind of need to be quick because I feel like the lighting in here isn't as good as some of the other rooms that I've been in um, but she didn't lie there's defo construction workers if I come here I they can see me can you guys see them I don't want to like open the blinds all the way but they are definitely construction workers outside the window but I'm not bothered but then I was also nervous because I was like oh my god have I just done the right thing like noise duh you're about to be filming like is it not going to be too noisy okay they can't really see me if I do that but I think it'll be fine I mean I'm going to give a disclaimer in a video you guys know what it is there are literally guys down there though I hear it like it's a bit mm. but they can't really see me like I'm not getting naked and the reality is it's almost like 5 p.m construction but it's going to be done for the day so it's not that deep Hey, she's here for four nights, I'm here for one, so I said, you wanna swap? Cool. But the reason I said I'm anxious now is like, I hope she doesn't realize that, ooh, maybe she had a better room and comes to like, knock on the door and be like, hey, do you wanna swap again? Cause I'ma say no, sorry. Anyway, so I'm actually using the same camera that I'm about to film with. Let me make sure my battery's charged up. Wearing this gorgeous top from MDV. Um, just got my cargoes on as well. So many of you have been wanting to see these cargoes on. I'm so sorry that I forgot to do a haul. They're even a little bit, um, like do a try on a haul. They're even a little bit dirty, but I just threw them on because I like this combination. 
So I'm ready to film. Um, I just need to set up the lights, set up the equipment, and then we're good to go. Be yeah, a super, super cute space. Definitely overexposed right now, but really cute space. Um, if you watched last week's vlog, you saw the other room I stayed in. So yeah, really nice, really cute. Um, so your girl's gonna get to work. And I'm gonna bulk record. Should be fun. So guys, we are gonna do a little cutaway into the vlog because I have a really cool delivery that arrived today. I've been actually waiting on this. I've been waiting. This is a box from Snack Surprise. I'm just trying to hide like my address as well. This is an, uh, a box from Snack Surprise. They reached out to me on Instagram and basically, if you can't tell by the concept or the name, you basically get a box every month. So it's like a subscription service. You get a box every month of 10 full-size snacks from different parts of the world. Now, if you are a traveler, if you're someone that travels or you're from a different background culture, anything like that, you know the UK don't really be hitting when it comes to snacks. And especially if you travel, you know there are snacks and just different things you can get in different countries that just make so much sense. I don't actually know what country this is today, but when they reached out to me, um, I was just like, I'm down. If you're a foodie or you just like snacks like me, like I literally have a snack drawer, which is really bad. I'm working on it. If you are a foodie like me, things like this could be really, really exciting. So I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. As I said, I don't know what country. I don't know what country, I don't know what snacks are in here. Um, what I really like about the packaging as well, just to quickly mention without showing you my whole address, is, uh, you probably can't see, but it's got like, Greetings from different parts of the world, different languages and different cultures. Don't eat it all straight away. Yeah, about that. What I'll do is I'll put their Instagram on the screen as well, but I thought we might as well unbox it together and then I can try out some of these snacks that may be in here. So let's see um, what it looks like. Denmark, oh my gosh, okay. I have actually been to Denmark and for the life of me, I could not tell you a single snack from Denmark. But this is, this is cute. So they give you like facts and details. Sorry, I'm having a moment as well guys, because as I said, even though they reached out to me, I've never used their products, I've never seen their products, so I didn't really know what to expect. But you've got this leaflet. Oh, okay, I don't know if I should spoil it. You've got this leaflet that has um, like details about the country, which I think is lovely from a tourism perspective. We're just getting to know about different countries in the world, like geographically. And then it gives you a list of what is in there as well, which I'm trying not to look at too tough because I want to look at it with you together. Ah, okay, I am going to look at this. So they have a mini box, an original box, and a premium box, if I'm not mistaken. And then they actually give you recipes as well. Again, I'll do a cutaway, but this is so, so lovely. And then they also give you a recipe for something sweet. So you've got something savory, something sweet. Obviously, this will differ for whatever country you get in the box. But Denmark, okay, cool. Let's have a look. So we've got these Kim's snack chips. This is in the original flavor. In the original flavor. As I said, I'll do a little cutaway as well, or like I'll do a layer so you can see the actual ones. Then you've got another flavor of Kim's. This is original, oh, American Grill, sorry. So it looks like that. And they are full size, um, full size snacks as well, which is interesting. Oh, you know, I like some chocolate. So this is, I want to say it might be orange chocolate. It's called Orangestang Tom's. Oh, okay, okay, so yeah, so it's a different brand. They look like this. Kind of giving me Kit Kat vibes. Obviously, if you know, you know. Um, ooh, this is called Yankee Mandel. Again, Tom's, so I don't know if Tom's is like their brand of chocolate. If you know me, you know I love fruit chocolate, nut chocolate, like I like things to be in my chocolate. Um, this is so weird because I was literally about to call my sister, she's out and about, I was gonna be like, can you bring some snacks home? Because I just want something gummy. Um, but anyway, I digress. Yeah, I've got the original box, so which is the mini box plus some other items. So I think it should tell you what it is. Yeah, okay, so Cloetta Flipper. So most Danes will remember this classic sweet and fruity marshmallow dolphin from childhood. Okay, so it gives you all the descriptions there as well, which is definitely useful because unless you are from the country or you're familiar with the country, you ain't gonna know what is what. <laughs> Ooh. 
I'm gonna try one of these little ones, which is golden toffee. Um, this one has its own game. After eating one, try to flatten the wrapper and peel the golden part without ripping it. If you fail, you eat another and try again. That sounds like my kind of game. Anyway, so this is toffee. Let's see what it tastes like. So it looks just like that. Ooh, let's get into it. That's what it looks like. Mm, 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 mm. They seem to like their dark chocolate because I think that toffee has like a dark chocolate, cho uh, dark chocolate chocolate coating, dark chocolate coating. Guys, again, thank you to Snack Surprise. Shout out to the Danish because those are some interesting treats. I'm actually really, I keep saying treats because I feel like snacks are a treat, but I'm actually interested to see what is next. So they do a different one every month. And as I mentioned, so I do have the original one, but if you do want the premium box, I'm pretty sure you can find a way to do so if that's what you want to go for. They de they have like different treats all together. Let me stop saying treats. They have different snacks all together, but you know, as I already do, I'll be showing you the website. I'll also show you their Instagram so you can have a look as well. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna be enjoying the rest of my snacks. Thank you again to Snack Surprise. Be sure to check them out, guys. All details will be in the description box and let's get into the rest of the vlog. I'm sorry, but I think she let go of a great room. I know it's just like, okay, but honestly, I'm just not that person. Like to me, that's confrontation to go and be like, sorry, I don't like this. And I need to stop that, but I paid. So let me get what I want. Anyway, as I mentioned, I'm gonna set up the lights. I think I'm gonna do all the sit down portions of my videos whilst I still have natural light. But yeah, I am gonna set up my lights. I also wanna try and connect my laptop. I can actually stand up straight. I also want to try and connect to my laptop. Like, even this is cute. <sighs> I need to get my own place. Um, I also need to connect to my laptop and so I can see what I'm recording. So I want to do that as well. Um, so hopefully I can start filming in like the next 20 minutes. That is the goal. Uh, does she not know they're going to finish in like half an hour? What's my own? Thank you, God. Um, I was just setting up my filming and I actually thought I've never shown you guys what I film with. I have an Amazon um, storefront now, which I'm saying we actually need to check everything is like set up fully and you guys can actually access it. But I do have an Amazon, no, let me leave those in my pocket. I have an Amazon storefront, so everything I use, you can check there. Um, I did add ring lights because I've actually, um, well, I'm going to order today some ring lights that I'm going to use to supplement what I use already. But lighting wise, so I use softbox lights. When they're set up, I'll show you a little bit better. I've honestly had those for years, like years and years I've had them now. And um, they're still going strong. So yeah, I use my softbox lights. I use my tripod, which you can see here. Um, really sturdy tripod, definitely great. I know there are some expensive ones, but to be honest, as long as you've got one that's a good height and durable, you're absolutely fine. Um, these are all the bits that come with the softbox lights. This box is low-key falling apart, but I'm gonna make it work. I haven't, touch wood, I haven't even had to replace the box. Like they're really, really good and long lasting. And these are the stands. And then um, I wanted a ring light because I wanna have like light coming from all angles. My Q and A video that should be coming up soon. Um, my boyfriend helped me like do the lighting and set that up and it was just gorgeous guaranteed that his camera is literally like 10 times the price of mine but he was just like just work on your lighting and you should be good so that's exactly what i'm gonna do that ac needs to kick in like i'm rushing rushing and it's actually not that cold today but i just really wanted to wear this top oh anyway um lights camera 
cameras there. I need to work out what angle I'm gonna go for. There is a sofa just here. There's a sofa just there, and I think I'm gonna move the sofa to here. Like, I'm gonna move this table out of the way, move this table out of the way, bring the sofa to that edge, and I think I'm gonna film that angle, because I've got a window just here. So, I'm talking, but let's actually see. <gasps> see? This battery's already ready to die. Enemy of progress. I might as well film this part for the vlog and then we can, yeah, I'll film this part for the vlog and then I will change my battery for the filming and let this one charge while I do that. Ciao, if these builders can see me, like the construction workers, they really are gonna be thinking I'm finna shoot something and yes, I am, but it's YouTube. Get your minds out the gutter. So, hoping you guys can see, it's a really, really easy setup. It's just about like aligning everything, screwing everything in place. Then this one is really simple. So if I open it up like that, you can see it collapses. You have this central part just here. Push it, you don't need to be too gentle with it. Just push it all the way in. And then you're gonna attach. Wait, something is loose somewhere. Yeah, okay. And then the bulb, hopefully not teaching you guys how to suck eggs. Don't grab it by the glass portion grab it by this part I grab it by the glass just to align it and then I just use my hand to like support it and then I just twist in the base I guess the main thing with light bulbs is just to be gentle with them and make sure you don't rattle them too much and you should be fine then it also has the cover which is like the diffuser so it's not as harsh kind of helps the light diffuse and normally when I'm filming, I use one of these, which I think is like the rookie mistake I've been making. I think I should use two and then see how we get on. So that's one set up. Really, really easy, done. I kind of wanted to be filming by now, but that is absolutely fine. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know. Ooh. Ah, do you know what? I need to think about plug sockets. I know there'll be a socket near the TV there. There's one there. Oh, there's one there. Oh, thank God I swapped rooms. Oh my goodness. The other room just wasn't giving. It wasn't giving what it's supposed to give. I promise I'm not farting guys, my feet, oh my socks are just like rubbing against the, the wooden floor. All right, those are the two lights. I'm gonna angle them. So I might do a little montage while I'm just working this out or I might just cut the clip all together, but I just need to make sense of this. I need to move my suitcase out of the way. Got my mic, road mic, again, in my storefront is there. Um, Actually, I think I might cut it because I need to try and work out how to connect my camera to my laptop. So while I still have a little bit of battery left, let me do that. If I do end up cutting it, I think I was saying I cut myself off. Um, I don't know if it's going to be in a separate video or in this vlog. I'll do, I want to do like my nighttime skincare routine. So I brought all my bits with me from like my proper, proper skincare routine at night. But, um, all right, baby. Got to, got to get the ball rolling. So let me, let me get damn let me get that done and i'll see you guys in a bit okay so mini update apparently i can't unless i have my usb which is just that was silly of me to leave that at home um unless i have a usb i can't actually connect my camera to my laptop i couldn't do it to my phone which i am going to do because i've done that before but um that's annoying so i'm just going to get on with it i think it's going to be fine once the lighting's on point once i get a bit of an ambiance we'll see what it looks like but i think we're going to be okay um you guys have never complained about my quality, but obviously I'm just trying to improve it because you know we're trying to do better. So yeah, let's finally record and get into it because the sun is gonna set in like two hours and I'm trying to do three videos. Okay, okay guys, it's hella bright, but kind of giving you a bit of a behind the scenes. Um, my cheekbones are really cheekboning. Thanks, mom. <laughs> 
I'm about to do my second video. I think the first one went well. Um, my boyfriend's actually gonna come and join me, so he will be able to give me his expertise because he's just top tier. All I can say is, guys, watch this space. Watch this space. But anyway, I've got another haul to do, so I'm gonna switch out because the light went at some point in the video and I don't want that to happen. So at least if I can get two videos, I'll be so gassed. So let me get into it, get up this top. I can't get this top, uh, I can't speak English. I can't get this top done up by myself. You can't even see the neck. I cannot, so yeah, I can take it off by myself, that's good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put on my next outfit, touch up my makeup and then do the second video. You guys already know I bulk film, so I hope this doesn't seem weird that it's like, oh, you don't do it live. Some weeks I do, but I know I'm about to get into a busy period in the year, so I need to make sure y'all have content, so yeah. Anyway guys, so I thought I would just kind of round off this portion. I'm in my other outfit, please tell me how I managed to get um, makeup on this top. And there's a lot going on, there's actually a lot going on. But anyway, um, I thought I'd jump in just quickly to say, filming day has gone successfully, I'm so happy. I definitely played around with the setup a little bit. So for those of you that are watching this, as you're watching the videos as they come out, let me know which one you think was more of a vibe. Because I've just been playing around with like camera settings, lighting, all of that stuff. But ultimately I think it is a step up from what I've been doing and it is definitely a step in the right direction. But I just want to make sure it's something, ooh, I think I need to clean my lens. It's something I can maintain. Anyway, the light is, is gone, gone. But we still got a good setup in here lighting wise. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna finish off for the day, then I'm gonna do my, you know, wash down, get unready with me, um, but before that I need to do some reels, the try on bits, so there's a lot going on, but so far so good. You are so cheeky! It's fine, I'm gonna record my video and get my own as well. Be enjoying, be enjoying. The hunger was hungering. Oh my days. Oh my gosh. Okay. Guys. Honestly, I could not even, I genuinely could not tell you. Did I already say bye to y'all? Here we are again. Oh. <laughs> Me and my lactose intolerant self should never. Let me turn this down just a little bit. We really shouldn't, but we're gonna, we gonna. Um, I couldn't tell you the last time I had McDonald's. Could not tell you. But today, today, that craving was strong. That craving, the craving was strong. It was strong. They better had not forgotten my barbecue dip. Got two apple pies, because you know, one for bay. Um, He's gone about his business for a bit, so I will see him later on. Um, then I wanted to try this, the Italian stack. I was just going to go for a Big Mac. Who was I watching that they were talking about a Big Mac? I think it was Tamar. I was watching reruns of The Real on YouTube. Okay, it's different. She a little different. She She's a mood of her own. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. But then I had to go for the double cheeseburger. I'm starving. And then barbecue dip, because if you don't get barbecue dip, do you really know what's going on? Are you, like, really? Anyway, I had to show you guys. We're not gonna do a mukbang because, you know, <laughs> I just wanna eat. But I was literally filming like the try on bits of the video. Then I was like, nah, I need to eat. I'm half an hour. I think I'm gonna put my McFlurry in the freezer. I'm gonna put the McFlurry in the freezer. I gotta go pee, TMI. But you'd be like, why are you telling them? I don't know, but I need to go pee. Um, and then I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna do it. I've gotta do it. Um, one thing I would say is I, sorry about that noise. I suffer from migraines with aura. 
So if you don't know what that means, I get migraines sometimes, but not only do I get the migraine, like it actually messes with my vision, like I can't see. Um, still working on it. I'm still trying to take like my own personal diaries to work out why the heck that even happens. But um, one thing I feel like I always try and do that I think, I don't know if it could trigger it or I don't know if it does trigger it, I'm not sure, but I just always try and make sure I eat. Like I try and make sure I eat. I'm not diabetic or anything like that. Um, we give thanks, but even so it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I'm not diabetic and I don't believe I'm even pre-diabetic. But one thing I've noticed is just like, I'd be on the go, 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 go. And it's just not healthy regardless. But again, as someone who suffers from migraines, I just, I try and do whatever I can to prevent it. Cause it really, it really messes up my day. It really messes with my flow. Oh, give me just now. Mm -mm -mm. They're not fresh cause they're not hot, hot. But I'm not mad at it. Guys, I've turned this camera on and on. I've been telling you guys, bye. See you next day. Mm. Okay. I love Americans. Mm. These fries be bussing, bussing. They're stupendous. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Okay. Maybe it's the hunger. I don't know. I don't know, but man, I should have got two of these barbecue dips. You might unsubscribe just because of that. I'm sorry. Mm, 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 mm. Better with a milkshake. If you know, you know. Let me know below if you know, you know. Okay, this is mannerless. Right. This place is so clean. That fridge. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't. I've been here before, so I don't really do like checks, checks like that. But that fridge. Brand new, man. It looks brand new. Do you know what I am missing? chicken nuggets but all this food for one person stop it ritual anyway let me have some manners i will catch you guys at this point i'll catch you when i catch you if it's tomorrow if it's later today we'll see be yourself I'm dancing to music that's playing for everybody. I say, be myself. You're, you're dance music. I ha that was mine first. I want that shot, thank you. Give me. Mom, you just took off the coffee. Yeah. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Yeah. You're not going to say that to me. That's not nice. So pretty. They decided to copy because he's a copycat. Oh, how will I know? Again. Technically, they got water, but I'm only one person, but we need balance in it. <coughs> and this is so, you're right there, love. It's a lot, but it's nice. TNT, baby. I want a day party, man. Everyone's saying someone's finishing. No, give me a day party. I'm gonna get changed. I can just take the suitcase out for now. Let me take the suitcase out for now. Guys.
guys so much for not finishing these snacks i'm literally down to these three <laughs> these are so good i thought they were just gonna be like ready salted that's why i can't i was leaving them like a bit i was just leaving them like okay whatever i'll eat it when i'm in the mood but i don't know what flavor it is but they are seasoned i am not mad at it everything has been so far so good I haven't tried this one as well i don't think was there anything i didn't really like oh this this was good like it said marshmallow but it was like a thicker marshmallow i can't explain it but yeah girl shout out to the danish i said to the danish shout out. no it was danish yeah demo shout out to the danish these were gorgeous i need to finish this off okay guys so i just received this delivery if you see the pile of clothes that is currently in my room because we're doing the wardrobe switch over i'm not gonna show my face too tough because yeah um i mentioned i think on one of my other videos that i okay this is a bit weird i am talking to you guys i mentioned in one of my other vlogs that i bought some new lights um i've got an amazon storefront or shop front whatever you want to call it so i will have that linked permanently in my description box or in the description box but yeah i bought a ring light and i was like why not unbox it together if anyone's interested in like equipment or upgrading their tech and stuff hopefully this is useful for you so let's get into it um Ooh. ah not sponsored by the way i looked at this box and i was just like mm. um it's a bit big but i think the lights and everything's still in there all right okay what i'm gonna do is we might do a little time lapse i stuck stuck with the um newer brown because i think i'm just like a little used to them i've got the little light that you can attach to your phone so if you're out and about you've got a bit of light to be honest that dies really quickly so i don't know if that's a good benchmark to use um for what product is good or not pardon my appearance you know we don't really apologize for such things but i literally have pretty much just woken so there's that in the bag you have like all the bits and bobs as you can see it's a ring light i already have two softbox lights but as I mentioned, my boyfriend and I, we've just been talking a lot and he's just like, you probably just need to invest in lights to get your quality the same way, whether you're recording at home or at a different venue, whatever. So, you know, your girl's trying to build up her collection and make sure I have what I need and don't need to rely on like studio spaces and stuff, even though they usually come in clutch anyway. So size wise, I went for the 18 inch, which I think is perfect um i went for the 18 inch oh i think this is the one that comes with the led display the other reason why i got this one as well is because you can uh adjust the temperature which is something we played a lot with when we were filming uh just this weekend so temperature and uh how strong the actual light is like how bright it is you can adjust both of those which i think is really good it looks like i should be able to mount my camera and a phone which again is good now i don't know if that's supposed to be like that or is that we're not even gonna say the word broken because surely not okay no i just need to attach it that's fine um i did get insurance on this which i don't typically do but i mentioned in my this vlog bruh, i mentioned earlier in the vlog as well that i sorry let me focus okay I mentioned in this vlog earlier that I've had my softbox lights for maybe coming up to 10 years now. Is that an exaggeration? Yeah, that's a bit of an exaggeration, maybe like eight years. Um, and it has served me well. I don't know what these new school lights be doing. And I say that like any of you who have had equipment from like years ago, I just feel like they used to make things differently back then. Not to say that things are less durable now because I do be looking after my stuff. But I was just like, do you know what? Let me get some cover. It was only like five pounds for two years of cover. So obviously if anything happens after that, we're done out here, but that's fine. And then what else? The other reason I really like these ones um, or this one, um, as opposed to like my softbox lights, is it comes with a case. The only thing is, I don't think the stand can fit in here, but I'll try. I don't think it does though. But that's not too much of an issue. I do appreciate that it comes with a case. It just makes it easier to transport it around if I am going to studios, apartments, hotel spaces, someone else, someone else's place, like all of that stuff. This one is just like mains powered, whereas there's some of them where you actually have to use a battery. And my thing is with the batteries, like 
then you have to make sure that's charged. I gotta make sure my camera's charged. Like it's a lot of charging and it's like, I don't want to have to, any of you who film, you know, the last thing you wanna have to do is find out that your, your memory card is full, which is an easy fix, like you just swap the memory card. But when your battery is dead, and you don't have an alternative it's so long having to sit and wait when your makeup is done and you're ready to go it just puts a bit of a damper on things this one also comes with a remote i cannot say how handy these are like they're so so good and so useful to have um if you are watching this vlog no i did not purchase this in the month of september because if you checked my community tab you will know i said i'm trying not to spend in september um obviously food and things like that is different but like actual purchases i'm trying to hold back from so I actually purchased this some days ago and it's just arriving. And yeah, you can check the storefront if you are interested in just like having lighting, whether it's for beauty, fashion, makeup, whatever you're doing. But I'm gonna set this up, see what it looks like, and then I'll keep you guys updated. So yeah, let's do that. Um, before I get into setting it up just quickly, I mean, usually I'll be like, oh, instructions, just work out yourself, but ciao. Um, what it does come with, if this will focus, is all the parts that it comes with, which is really, really good. So it lets me know just what is what. And then, of course, it does have the manual as well. But yeah, I'm going to set up just to test it, play around with it for a little bit. And then we can carry in case adapter, light, phone holder, ball head, tripod, manual. To be fair, I'm not gonna ever really hook my camera onto it anyway, but it's just a nice option to have. Um, for reels more so, it's probably easier to know that I can attach my phone, but yeah, that should be okay. Anyway guys, let's get into it. Um, actually, what I should say, just in case I don't close off this vlog, is thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I post Wednesday and Sunday every single week. 7 p.m. so catch me there but um just in case i don't close out this vlog or there's nothing else to show um i would say goodbye peace out love you loads and i'll catch you in the next one stay well stay blessed good vibes only and i'll see you guys soon bye